Hello, everybody. I'm Nate Laser. And do you ever wonder where you get um, these broadcasting videos from? Well, room 506 is where you get all those broadcasting videos. We're going to interview Matthew Welch today. Who am I here with today? Mr. Welch. Mr. Welch gives good advice in giving us some key skills to develop in broadcasting journalism. When asked the question of what those skills are, this was his response. The, the key skills that you guys should focus on, uh, one, in terms of videoing, should be framing, composition, and just being intentional when you're filming. Journalism-wise, finding something interesting and telling the truth. Those are the big things we focus on. There isn't a field of work out there that doesn't have their own challenges. Here he is going to be telling us what the challenges are in his class. What are common challenges students face in, the pro in this program and how can we overcome them? Your challenge would be just being able to set up interviews. Um, teacher schedules are hard to follow sometimes, especially early in the year when you don't want students falling behind and skipping class or being out of class, things like that. Teachers look at it different ways. To be able to overcome that is just kind of staying resilient, having the, the work of the other teachers around us, but that's probably the biggest thing. Welch finally ends off by giving us some resources on how we can learn more and do things related to broadcasting. Uh, can you suggest any resources or workshops for further learning and broadcasting? Yeah, there are plenty of free online things in, um, on YouTube if you go and, and check those out. Otherwise, any college usually offers uh, media conferences or media camps. So look into Shepherd. I'm not sure if they have or not, but um, WVU always offers one every summer. So there's, there's always resources that you guys can, can check out. Thank you. You're welcome. This is class. Students were making a newsworthy story. We are making a newsworthy video. Own man and his destruction of the city. Oh yeah. Um, she got hit by an asteroid. Now she's crippled. That is all that we have for you today. A huge shout out to Mr. Welch for everything he has done for the school. Thanks for watching.